The first technique in the Kempo Karate for Christ second round curriculum is begging hands. Uh, begging hands, if you've started back in the kids program and you've learned snapping wrist, which is a requirement for the brown strike uh, level of that, that's actually setting up uh, for begging hands. So uh, it opens in much the same way. It's for a, your both hands are out in front and they're direct wrist grabs to both hands. So they've got you grabbing both sides. And to get out of this, what you want to do is we actually punch forward. Often how the, uh, uh, it'll begin as if we are starting one of the hand forms, or one of the basic forms, we just hands out in front, and some punch, two hand punch forward this way. So uh, as they grab both wrists, we're going to punch forward. As soon as we do, we're immediately going to snap back, pulling the hands up in like double vertical outward blocks. And what that's going to do is, as you punch forward, and the grip in your hand, the, uh, the pinky finger, the index finger, the ones here at the bottom of the hand are going to squeeze tighter in order to stop your motion as you attack forward. Right? So we don't intend to actually hit them. What we want to do is trick the hand. And we trick the hand by going forward and then back. When you go forward, the pinky and the uh, ring finger uh, will squeeze tighter to stop that. But that means the other three are going to loosen up your index finger, your middle finger, and your uh, thumb. And that's what's going to stop them, or in, that's going to make them able to stop you from pulling back out again. So what we do is we trick the hand to get tight on one end, loose on the other, and immediately come back out the, the weaker side, the loose side. And of course we're peeling out opposite the thumb that way, and, and the hand's been tricked to squeeze one end rather than, rather than the other. Or at least that's the theory behind it. But I've seen it work, even with uh, little bitty kids. Again, we use this in our kids' program, and we call it snapping wrist. You're punching forward, you're pulling back. We also want to get distance with that. So we step back with the uh, left foot as you punch, pull back, right, to a right cat stance here. And then from this position, we're going to launch our counterattack with a right kick, followed by a left. And that's all the kids do for snapping wrist. We're going to continue with that for begging hands. Begging hands, of course, gets its name for these hands that are coming up here as if you're a beggar, right? Um, so that's, that's the only significance there is to that. But we punch, step back the cat stance, both hands come up to these vertical outward block positions, getting you out of their two-hand wrist grab. Then we're going to kick to the stomach with the uh, right, followed by the left. And as you plant down, I'm going to step forward with the right, and we're going to use this butterfly palm idea. Right? So as that butterfly palm comes down, boom, we kick, I step in, I do this butterfly palm, and then immediately grab. So we're hitting the diaphragm, and you've seen this move happen several times already in, um, in several of our, especially the Kung Fu forms, right? using this butterfly, horizontal butterfly palm. It's a strike to the diaphragm, knocking their wind out, and then immediately comes up and we're pain grabbing on the pectoral muscles. So you're going to come up into the arm, like fingers kind of gripping into the armpit, thumb grabbing, and we're grabbing and squeezing. Now if you're working on your, with your partner, of course, this is going to leave all kinds of bruises real fast. Um, and um, the bigger they are, the more lean muscle mass they have, uh, particularly across the chest, the, the more it shows, the more damage can be done, the more it hurts, right? Because uh, that's what we're going for, is the nerves and the muscle tissue. So we're doing this butterfly palm, and then we reach up and grab, pain grab and twist there. And that helps lift them up on their toes. And as we lift them up on their toes, we're going to step in with the rear cross and then sweep with that right leg. Put it right between their feet and sweep out their left foot. And as you do, turn and throw them down towards 6 o'clock. And from there, you'll full cover out to 12. Right? That's the whole thing. This thing just moves forward from its start. We step, we get back one step, and then from there it's all advancing. Steps, I butterfly palm, grab and lift, and as you lift, step in, sweep their leg, toss them down to six, and then full cover out to twelve. Finishing your escape. Again, begging hands, down and back, right kick, left kick, butterfly palm as you step, grab and lift, sweep, throwing them down, Full cover out to 12. Cutting my full cover out short. One more time, begging hands. Down and back, kick 
right, left. Butterfly palm lift, sweep, full cover out. Right. That's begging hands. That's technique number one for our second Brown curriculum in Kempo Karate for Christ.